Hey, my name is Ethan Ostroff. Today I am talking about Truvada, the nationwide lawsuit for people who took this drug for HIV or AIDS, and it is leading to kidney damage and bone loss. It's a huge deal happening across the country. But before I get to that, make sure to hit that subscribe button, follow along where I will make sure that your future injury case is protected. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out where we will make sure you are set up with the best lawyer possible for your situation. So the Truvada lawsuit, what's going on? What are the damages? Who's affected? And how can you potentially qualify for this mass tort? If you or a loved one, I don't wanna to sound too much like a legal commercial here, but if you or a loved one did take this drug and you're suffering from kidney damage or bone loss, you might qualify for this mass tort. Now, what is a mass tort? A mass tort is where you took a drug or a product that affected tons and tons of people across the country. So you basically do have your own personal lawsuit against the manufacturers of Truvada and of these other similar drugs for HIV, for AIDS that are leading to bone loss, that are leading to kidney issues, but they aggregate all of these claims into one big, massive joint lawsuit where a few people are what are called the bellwether cases where they take their cases to trial, which sort of sets the precedent for the rest of the Truvada cases. This is an example of that, where you, if you were affected, yes, you do have your own lawsuit, but your lawsuit will be affected by what the other bellwether cases outcomes are. If you took Truvada, Atripola, Complera, Strimbead, or Viread, any of those drugs, you may qualify for this mass tort lawsuit that's going on. The deadly side effects of this drug are acute and chronic kidney disease, Fanconi syndrome, kidney failure, osteopenia, osteoporosis, osteomalacia. Any of these issues, you may qualify. Now, is it worth your time to bring a personal injury case against these manufacturers of this drug? The answer is yes. You have no downside to participate. You only have to pay your lawyer if you get paid in this situation. This lawyers who are working on this case are working on a contingency fee basis. That means that you don't have to stress that you're going to bear some big cost for what's going on in this litigation. But it is worth your time to get your questions answered as to what's going on here. If you have any questions, make sure to reach out to a good injury lawyer who can connect you with the right lawyers. I pride myself on that. Click that subscribe button below where I will make sure that your future personal injury case is protected. I'm so sorry if you're going through something related to this drug. Thank <music> you.